um so hello guys um um, in this video, I'm going to be dealing with uh, Fortnite's uh, products and we're going to look at a whole lot of, um, of, 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 of configurations and all that. And um, I'm going to show us how um, we can integrate FortiClient EMS um, to the security fabric. Um, also, how to customize um, the FortiClient um, installer. Um, so, some settings and configuration about FortiClient EMS and um, exploit protection. You know, we have um, dynamic endpoint grouping and, and tagging. So um, we have a whole lot of um, of of of, um, of settings and configuration to do. So I'm so excited that I'm doing this. So the first one we are going to do um, and just look at is um, for the client EMS and, and the security fabric, how they relate and how um, how to uh, to connect them and make them talk to yeah, to connect uh, for the client to other. Um, security, uh, Fortinet security products just such as the FortiGate. As you can see on uh, my screen, um, this is the topology I'm going to be working with. Um, we have the FortiGate um, edge, um, edge firewall, which is the, the one facing the internet. We have the FortiGate um, internal segmentation firewall, which is the one managing um, the internal network um, of the topology. We have um, the Active Directory. Um, we have um, the Fort Client um, Server. We have the Fort EDL. Um, we have um, the Management Network and all that. So um, this is the um, topology I'm going to be working with, and I'm going to show us how um, to integrate the um, Active Directory to our Fort Client and all that. So let's just get started. The Fort Client EMS and um, Security. Uh, fabric. So, as we all know, uh, endpoints are frequently the target of initial compromise or attacks. One recent study found that 30% of breaches involved malware being installed on endpoints. Fortinet strengthens endpoint security through integrated feasibility, control, and proactive defense with the ability to discover, monitor, and assess endpoint risk. You can ensure endpoint compliance, mitigate risk, and reduce exposure. So, Fort Client EMS is the central manager for Fort Client protected endpoints. As an advanced endpoint protection platform, Fort Client is available on Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, and Chromebook devices, and is designed to integrate with the Fortinet security fabric, providing visibility, compliance control, vulnerability management. And protection using pattern based and anti malware, behavior uh, based exploit protection, web filtering, application firewall, and secure remote access. Um, so, in, in this um, nugget, we will we exploit controlling endpoints using Fortinet um, advanced endpoint protection tools in mixed Windows and Linux environment and see firsthand how this solution integrates with Fortinet security fabric to protect your company's critical uh, assets. So um, now um, we are going to log into um, our FortiClient uh, EMS server. Um, so the objective of this um, session is to integrate our Active Directory um, domain server um, to the FortiClient EMS and also to integrate the EMS to the security fabric. So you go to endpoint and um, domain, then you add um, your domain. The IP address of um, my domain server is uh, 172.16.100.10. Um, yours might be different and it will be different. So make sure that um, your uh, domain server is readily available to be integrated um, to the first client EMS. Then uh, you provide your credentials, username, and password um, of of um, your forty client EMS. So then you save. So, voila! Um, our first client EMS um, has been integrated. Then. Um, the next thing we want to do is to um, is to uh, populate our domain users 
um, so that it can be visible on the uh, fourth client EMS. So under endpoint policy, we have the manage policies. Then you can edit the default um, profile. Then you go to the um, users, um, to the um, endpoint group to, uh, to check um, your domain um, users. You can, you can either uh, select the domain users, which like um, selected users that you want, or you can select the whole um, groups based on your, uh, uh, your company's policies. Then you save. So let's log into our 40 um, gates. Um, to in order to um, join for the client to the security uh, fabric. So um, on your photo gate, um, navigate to security fabric, then go to settings, um, then scroll down, um, scroll down to, um, the page, and um, you see um, um, a tag with um, with a tab with the for uh, the client um, endpoint management you know, um, system. Then toggle, toggle it, and enter the credentials of of, of your fourth, uh, of your of your fourth client uh, EMS. Um, so insert the IP address uh, and uh, all all other uh, credentials necessary. Then you save um, test connectivity and see if it's working. Um, your forty gate and your 40 client EMS must be reachable so you have to make sure that they are reachable before coming here then you can go to the fabric connectors other uh, security fabric and click on the 40 client EMS and um, just um, scroll down starting with the version um, 6.23 EMS requires SSS certificate to establish um, the secure communication channel so you have to select um, a certificate there is a quick configured one and just um, save then um, so on that view you will see um, the pre configured um, um, tag which has been done on that EMS we will discuss that later um, in our next video so now um, your 40 client EMS has been connected with the uh, with the security fabric which is your uh, which uh, 40 gate is that the core of, 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 of it all so um, kindly check out my uh, next video on how to um, automatically install 40 clients on your domain um, users and also automatically uh, registering your 40 client EMS on, on the domain users um, without having to manually impute the IP address um, for management, um, SIG and all that. Um, thank you so much.